What's up, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Shock the System Podcast, brought to you by our sponsors, Sonalitech and Gamers Hub, and Slick Tight Pomade. Our guest, no, uh, this afternoon nerds needs no further introduction. <laughs> <laughs> so, de pa better siguro si si ang ang guest na lang natin ang magintroduce sa sarili niya. But he's a good friend. No, uh, recently uh, known each other for a few years. That I know, yeah, through races then. Yes, 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 Through yes. common friends, no. Yes. Malit lang yung triathlon community, de ba? Yon. So. Friends, let us welcome to the platform, uh, Miss Kat Lagunsad. Hi, hi everyone. Hello, hey. hello. Thank Finally. you so much for having me here. Of course, um, it's an opportunity to also um, share my story with everyone, with you and everyone, of course. So, mm-hmm. yeah, thank you for this platform. You know, yeah. That's been very helpful to a lot of people. Hmm? Um, veterans and newbies, so hmm. thank you. Naka, f- de, first of all, thank you for saying yes finally. Of course, um, of course. It's been, ano, it's been uh, quite a uh, give and take of scheduling. Correct, diba, correct, correct. Uh, I know you're also a very busy person. You're a professional, diba? Uh, uh, not, a professional <laughs> <laughs> not a professional triathlete, Not a professional triathlete, but okay. um, yes, I, I, ha- I do have a corporate job. Yeah, 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 yeah. then a very important, simply to to fuel our triathlon hobby. That is true. Our love, the right? That is true. Oh, oh. So, sige, let's start from. Sikat, yeah, yeah. Nabanggit ko na uh, we've known each other probably through the races, and one race that I would probably say that I really remembered was last year. Okay. Siyempre, a lot of uh, triathletes who raced Ironman Philippines last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, very memorable. It is, <laughs> it is. Oh, diba? Correct. And um, I think um, you had a very uh, good race last Thank year. Thank you. Right? Thank you. And uh, you placed a very good, um, I mean, you finished very well. Diba? Salamat, salamat. Mm-hmm. I, I, I think so. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Pero yung maraming nag maraming nagtataka, 'di ba? Mm. And uh, a lot were baffled doon sa nangyari kasi we didn't get that Kona na slot. The Kona slot. 'Di ba? Kasi I think um, a lot I mean especially the women na were into triathlon, mm-hmm. definitely if they're given the chance, 'di ba? That slot, qualifying slot, they would definitely get it, eh. mm-hmm. right? Pero ikaw, uh hindi mo siya kinuha. Eh. Mm-hmm. So, babalikan natin yung question na yan. Ready na ako sumagot eh, pero... <laughs> Para may yeah, kwenting yeah. ano. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. Yeah. Alright, by the way, Kat, we are here at the Athletes Lounge. We are, and it's very beautiful here. Eh. It's In very comfortable. In Vermosa. In Vermosa. Yeah, Cavite, the Vermosa South. Sports Hub. No? Yes. And special thanks to uh, Miss Lani. Yes, uh, Miss Lani, Lani, thank you so much Panahon. for allowing Tan. us to be here Mm-mm. and making it very comfortable for us. Yeah. So this is actually um, our, more or less, no, outside of the studio, our makeshift studio. <laughs> <laughs> so we're here on site. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys want to also check out uh, Vermosa Sports Hub, especially their athlete's house. Yes. Um, very, very conducive and also very... Uh, very nice facility. Magagustuhan nyo to. Magagustuhan nyo yung athlete's house na to. And definitely, it's something that um, uh, Vermosa uh, offers to, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to elite or even age groupers, especially the national team, probably. Yes. Diba? Talagang yeah. ano siya. It's, uh, it's a really good training ground kasi it mm-hmm. already allows you to swim, bike, and run yeah. here all at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. perfect spot uh, spot siya for the mm-hmm. southeast like myself. And of course, mm-hmm. you're old. You're old dito din ang training madalas. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, nakikiyan na lang ako, nakikwentuhan lang naman talaga ako. Eh. <laughs> Naki- nakita kita kanina, parang, ano eh, parang legit yung training oh, eh. Ayan. <laughs> Ayan. So, um, you want to check out their socials, syempre, Vermosa. Uh, yes. On their Facebook, definitely the ladder announcements there. And hopefully later on, we'll be able to talk to uh, Miss Lani. Yes. Lani Tan. Ayan. Okay. So, back to you. Okay. Kala ko, magpapromote lang tayo. 
<laughs> Ready uh, naman ako to prove <laughs> Bermosa. Okay. So, uh, Kat, siguro, let's start with your journey. Diba? You, okay. you mentioned you have a background also on running. And how did it start? How did it start? Uh, okay, so uh, the first one in the family who got into running, into sports talaga, in endurance sports, was my dad. So back then, in 2016, he registered for the bull runner. So he was 47 years old that time. And then, ako wala akong kaalam-alam with, ano, with anything about running, about triathlon, none. And then, uh, so back then, party girl ako. Hindi ako nagigising ng maaga if ever iiyayain ako ng dad ko to run with him because he was already encouraging us to go with him eh, to try running. So he had running groups, he was doing TBR. Um, the moment that I saw him finish the bull runner sa Nuvali, sa Nuvali pa yun, so dun ako na-inspire with everyone I saw that day. So sabi ko, for these people, and mind you, they are a lot, so, this group of people who finished uh, 42 kilometers that day, sabi ko, may mga nakatapos ng 4 hours, 4.30, and then there are um, finishers ng like mga 8 hours silang tumatakbo in all ages. May bata, there are like middle-aged men. Again, my dad is 47. Back then, I was 25. So, doon ako napaisip, sabi ko, cast anong ginagawa mo in your life? Like, these people... Um, can manage to have that kind of uh, mentality and sport and finish that kind of distance while I'm here just partying, you know, mm-hmm. parang um, sabi ko, okay, uh, the, the light switched on. So parang mm-hmm. sabi ko, sige, I'm going to challenge myself. Uh, that was 2016. After TBR ng dad ko, I got really inspired. I registered to Nat Geo for 2017. 42 kilometers ka agad. Mm-hmm. Wow. Pikit mata, pikit mm-hmm. mata. So, I think that's what um what what usual athletes do right now, de ba? Na parang for mm-hmm. you to train, register ka na muna, tapos to follow na lang yung training. Parang ganon na nangyari. Yeah. So yeah, I registered for my first 42 kilometers in Nat Geo. I did not know anything about running. My dad uh, was the one who coached me. Wow. For that. So, dun ko natutunan yung may pacing yan. Like the 2 1 group. So, mm-hmm. 2 minutes run, 1 minute walk. And then uh, from there, nag 3 1 4 1. And then, natapos ko naman yung 42 kilometers ng Nat Geo. So, mm-hmm. thank you. Thank God that I was able to do that. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, yeah, after that, I, I was asking myself already na, um, what's next? Mm-hmm. Right? What's next after a 42 kilometers? Okay. Yeah. So that basically, uh, you know, uh, put that fire in your heart yes. to do more yes. after the, the bull runner. Coming from your dad, you were inspired by yes, your father. Yes, definitely. Oh, definitely. Oh. At the very uh, late, probably late onset na nag-start na siya for marathon. Yes, diba? yes, yes. Diba? Mm-hmm. Kumbaga, yun nga, parang what I mm-hmm. thought was, okay, he's 47 years old, but he still had that drive in him to pursue something that is also new to him. Mm. So when I see him uh, waking up early in the morning just to train with his running buddies, so nakaka-inspire na at 46 years old, 47 years old, me, he's very passionate about something new, you know? And that's what I realized that it's never about the age for mm. you to start something and mm. to learn something and um, be really good at it as, as well. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. mm-hmm. But you never had any kumbaga, interest at the time. Talagang, doon na lang talaga nag-start when nakita mo from your father. No? Yeah. Um, no? Technically, uh, yeah, I'll say it here. I hated running. Okay? As cliche, That's the first. <laughs> as cliche <laughs> as it may sound, I hated running. So, um, quick backstory. Mm. I used to play basketball for St. Scholastica's College. Mm. So I played okay. for um I have, I played basketball in college. So usually yung mga training namin na which involves running, tinatry ko skip yon because I don't mm. like running. Like parang I just want to shoot, like do the scrimmage. Mm. Um mm. I like um making the plays for the team, but like running, ayoko talaga. Like I feel like it's it wasn't for me. 
So, <laughs> nung niyaya ako ng dad ko before, when he was starting pa lang dun sa training niya ng TBR, sabi ko, I don't like, hindi na nagbabasketball nga ako. Ayaw ko nga tumatakbo eh. <laughs> yeah, and then, yeah, so technically, yung nakita ko lang talaga that on set during the, the TBR race, those that are finishing, Galing. yung support system of the mm-hmm. community, when I saw firsthand how the running community are, you know, they're very kind, mm-hmm. they're very supportive, humble, yeah. um, they're very welcoming. Mm-hmm. So it's something that parang sabi ko, I want to be part of this community na everyone uh, is actually inspiring each other to reach a certain goal. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So dun na, na parang sabi ko, sige, uh, dun ako na challenge. Sabi ko, yeah, let's try to make it work. So I started with, try natin gumising na medyo mas maaga. Try nating i-lesson yung party. Party, yeah. Kasi syempre, pag pumarty ka, tanghali ka na magigising. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yon, that's when it started. Oh, nice, yeah. huh? And yeah, speaking of Bull Runner, I'm also mm-hmm. a, a graduate of it. Yeah. Alumni, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alumni of Bull Runner. Pero ikaw, you transition, no? coming from running, and then, how, paano pumasok yung picture, yung triathlon? Yung triathlon. On the same year ba yan, 2017? Mm-hmm. Or, ano, may nagbudal ba ulit sa'yo? Okay. Or, right. uh, or siguro your your father probably got mm-hmm. into to it also. Alright. So, mm-hmm. si dad, uh, after ng bull runner niya, sabi ko, so for you, what's next? And he said na, he's good na with 42 kilometers. He just wanted to maintain like the fitness level, of course, do um, yung usual casual run niya. And then, when he asked me, how about you? Mm. What's next for you? What's the next big thing or your goal? Sabi ko, I don't want to do ultra kasi um, napag-uusapan na din yun na parang after 42 kilometers, what you can do, you can actually add pa mileage. And nung time na yun, sabi ko, no. I don't want to add mileage. Na. Like 42 kilometers, naka the whole time, nagdadasal talaga ako, paano ako matatapos? So, oh, okay. Kasi like, di ba, it's your it's first time. I prepared, I didn't have coach, more on YouTube, and then like my dad, technically parang hindi ako ganun ka mentally prepared when I did my first 42 kilometers. But I was able to do it. Mm-hmm. I was able to finish it. Um, so now, may mga running buddies yung dad ko na nag-transition. After mag-double runner, nag-transition sila to triathlon. I did mm-hmm. not know anything about triathlon. I was 25 years or 26 mm-hmm. years old. I did not know anything about triathlon. This was in 2017. This is back. in 2017, back in 2017. Mm-hmm. And then uh, that's when my dad showed me photos and videos of his friends training for triathlon. So cool. dun na niya na introduced na you know triathlon, it's um uh, a multi sport where you do swim, you bike and you run. Hmm. So sabi ko, oh interesting, pero hindi pa rin siya nothing nothing that really na parang umpisahan ko, hmm. you know, for me to be able to train or anything because I don't know anything about it. Hmm. And it looks tedious. No nakita ko sabi ko, okay, what so pag nag-swim, pag nag-bike, nag-run, pa, pa no, tapos like parang hira. Hmm. Dami mong gagawin. Oo, yeah. ganoon, ayoko. Uh, and then did you have a, a sense at the time that triathlon could be expensive also or sinabi na rin ba ng dad mo or he uh, let you found out I find out na oh, sige try mo yan pero sige yeah actually nung, nung 2017 when I first found out about it hindi ko naisip na oh, okay this is something that could be expensive because all all the while I thought di ba pag nag swim ka naman ang kailangan mo lang swim cap mhm like I have them like my my regular bathing suit, so okay. that's it, diba? Bike, the bike part, of course. I didn't know that now. Now I know that you know you can go as much, 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 much with um, the upgrades needed for the bike. But later I'll be um, sharing also with you how I am in terms of budgeting my triathlon expenses, especially when I first started. Oh, yeah. Okay. So technically, yeah. So hindi ko the ease at that time. I said, okay. Um, I came across Instagram uh, post of the usual triathletes before. You mga sikat na triathletes before. Um, I was a big fan of Kim Kilgrove. Mm, okay. Uh, yeah. So that yeah. time, 2017, so sabi na, na introduced mm-hmm. sa akin yung thought. And then, um, yeah, so ito, kita mo, we have this. Ganyan. And then si Kim Mangrobang. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was seeing um, sila Vanessa. Hi, Coach, Coach Van. Yes, oh, Coach Van. Okay, yeah. Sila, sila Sheila. I, I was seeing Sheila's um, 
um, Instagram post on about triathlon mm. also. So, hindi pa kayo magkakilala Hindi kayo yun. magkakilala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hindi, hindi pa na buo ang Core 4. Hindi pa. Wala pa. <laughs> hindi pa pinapanganak ang Core 4 ng 2017. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, nakikita ko yung page nila. Sabi ko, grabe, ang badass naman na itong mga, mga women in sports na to. Like, makikita mo yung mga post nila, di ba? Parang, ang gaganda ng bike. Hindi ko pa alam na triathlon bike yung tawag doon or time trial bike. I thought bibili ka lang ng bike sa kanto tapos pwede ka na mag, ano, mag-join or like ganun na rin itsura mo. I did not know anything about that. So, apparently, moving forward, fast forward, mm-hmm. same year after I finished my for, uh, 42 kilometers, mm-hmm. ganun ulit, pikit mata, nag-register ako sa, what's that race? Bike King Sprint. That's mm. TU4. Ah, yeah, okay. and that was November 2017. Mm-hmm. Fontana. Yeah. Yes. So I found out about that race from my dad's running friends because that's mm-hmm. gonna be their um, first race, race also. also. Mm-hmm. So technically, parang ano ako? Parang ako saling kit kit. Mm-hmm. running group niya because I didn't know, I, I didn't know anybody with um uh, dun sa community. Mm-hmm. So parang I'm learning about all the information about the races, the schedule mm-hmm. from them lang then. Mm-hmm. And then I, I watch all the videos um, applicable dun sa training and races sa YouTube lang lahat. So self taught, self coaching. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ayon. Good. How um, was to you? Uh, how was the TU for experience? It was amazing. It was amazing. Mm, nice. It was amazing. Um, mm-hmm. Technically, because of that experience, um, don't. Doon ako na in love with triathlon. Nice. Doon ako na in love mm-hmm. with triathlon. The distance was 600 meters, 20 kilometers bike, and 5 kilometers run. Mm-hmm. So, when I tried it, kasi technically, tinry ko lang naman eh. Tinry ko lang naman. Um, what's funny about it is that I raced uh, that sprint distance. Hindi ako marunong mag-change ng gear ng bike. Okay. Ganong level. So, <laughs> technically... And if I'm not mistaken, yung wall sa Pampanga yung dinaanan namin um, nun. Yeah, yeah. Wall, oh, right? Oh. And makunat from yun. The, coming from the pool. Yes, Fontana. Sa may dilikod, diba? Yes, mm. yes, Fontana. Hindi ako marunong mag-shift. So all this time, and even during the, when I was training, isa lang pala yung gear na ginagamit ko. Okay. So yung 20 <laughs> kilometers na yun, sabi kong ganun, nilalagpasan ako nung mga magaganda yung bike. Okay. I was using a road bike nun na, like, very ano lang siya, intro level until now, probably. 8 speed, so. 9 speed. Did I don't even remember? know. I don't even know. Like, in, wala talaga Maka siya. Maka 1 speed. Maka 1 speed. Oh. Fixie pala, fixie, mm. no? But, um, yeah, so that's what happened. Sabi ko, ang bibilis nila, sabi ko, yung effort namin is the same naman. Feeling mm. ko, like, yung pedal ko is the same with them. But how come they're moving faster than me? Tapos parang, di sila hirap sa ahon. And then mm-hmm. I found out after the race when we na kami ulit, and then I already have this like parang group helping me out with the bike. Dun ko lang natutunan na pwede mo palang shift yung gear. <laughs> <laughs> after so, that. After that. Wow. After that. So yeah. Um, okay. It was a very interesting experience, and I enjoyed it so much that I was already looking for races in 2018 where I can join. Uh, so na isip mo. Sa susunod na race ko, mag-shift na ako ng gear. Yes, oo. Ang laking, ano pala, ang laking gear. Yung pala yun. Okay. Yeah, very nice. helpful. Yun. And then, okay, so that was your first experience, the U4. And then, when did it uh, happen na talagang you joined 5150s and probably your your first half Ironman ah, within okay. this, that, that span of year? Yeah, oh. so... 2017 November, that was biking sprint, and then again, I, I super enjoyed the experience. Um, I already had this. Yung mga running again, yung mga running friends ng dad ko na nakasama ko dun sa um, biking. Uh, nag-enjoy din sila, and then they were actually inviting me na for like relay na try natin kasi hindi mm-hmm. pa natin kaya yung long distance. Mm-hmm. My first um, standard distance na bike was in Tin Man. Mm-hmm. So Tin Man, kinuha nila, halika, let's try Tin Man. That, that was um, first quarter of 2018. Ako yung nagbike. That's 40 kilometers. Tin Man. Ito yung sa... Ilocos. Kuramang. Tama ba? Tama ba? Ilocos. Ilocos. Yes, correct, correct. Yes, Ilocos. Thunderbird pa yata that time? Or... 
Playa na. Or not remember. Uh, Ando na sa playa. Playa na, playa mm-hmm. na. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ayun. So, mm-hmm. after that, uh, nagsunod-sunod na. Parang nauna, nauna yung SBR journey ko with biking. And then, I did Tin Man. And then, after that, um, that was the year that I completed the SBR series. <clears throat> Dua Man, mm-hmm. Aquaman, and... Uh, What's the tri man? Tri man. Yes, okay. ako. so do a man, so do a thon, de ba? Uh, aqua thon and then tri man. So bin uko yon oh. that year. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So, and then, um, ito na, dun na start yung ano mo, journey mo na talagang, ah, sige, magiging serious of serious na tayo. When did you get into Sante? Oh, Sante. 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 Tama ba? Yeah, yeah, Sante. Yeah. So, yeah, that year, 2018, again, I didn't have any coach pa rin. So, okay. I was doing triathlon for a year. I did not have any coach. So, mm. lahat ng learnings ko are from the races itself and those people that I meet during the races. Okay. And again, mm. from the community. Um, yeah. And then, I did my first um, first 70.3 in Davao. That was... Davao. Yeah. 2018. 2018 the yeah, first Davao, ba? 2018. Yeah, yeah, first mm-hmm. Davao ata. Yun. First mm-hmm. Davao, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yun. After that, sabi ko, parang with long distance, I already need someone who will, you know, really give me a certain program. Because going long distance, ano na siya, it's a different uh, beast, eh. Yeah. Diba? And you can't take 70.3 lightly. For a oh, beginner, oh. for a beginner, and then you'll go that long. Um, parang I finished my first 70.3, 6 hours 12 ata. 6 hours 12. That's your first? Huh? That's my first. Nice. Sabi okay. ko, I wanted to really have na a certain coach, you know, a specific coach who can help me out. Mm. That's when I stumbled upon mm-hmm. Coach Don Velasco. Mm, Don V. Yeah, so hindi pa ako si Ante Bardi noon. Mm. Um, and then, yeah, I did all the uh, metabolic testing, lactate yeah. testing VO2. with him. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was complete. Mm-hmm. And then we prepared for what's the next one? Cebu, right? So Cebu. Davao, Cebu, yung next. Correct. I joined also Cebu. Don Vina ako nun. Um, Was this then, the Cebu na magulo yung swim? Was that the time or different? Ah uh, no no different. Because nung time mm-hmm. na nagsibu ako actually very very organized uh-huh. yung okay. swim nun. Uh-oh. Yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. So si Don V while we were preparing for Cebu. He was the one who actually introduced me to Sante Barley ah, Tri Team. So it was Coach Don who connected you to Sante. Yes. All right. Yes. Mm. Oh, so yon. So technically, na unang muna mm. that um, I reached out to him, and mm. then he was already coaching me. Tapos he introduced me, and yun yah. Um, that's the time that I was already referred and endorsed to Sante Barley. So I see. I'm always and forever mm-hmm. thankful for Don V. Mm. Yeah. Good. Good. Sana nga ma 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 guest din natin sa show si, yeah. ano, si Coach For Don. For sure, Coach, oh, oh, oh. please. Oh, yeah. Oh, marami din mga insight yan si yes, Coach correct. Don. Yes, oh, oh. From a, from a, uh, I think he also teaches before, ba? parang ganun. Tapos, medyo ano siya, medyo on the scientific level din. Ano? Yes, 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 yes. Kaya nung, ano, nung uh, mm-hmm. first time na nagpa-coach ako sa kanya, coming from someone na self-taught or like sa YouTube lang na nanonood, mm-hmm. di ba? Nung ina-explain niya sa akin yung data that he got from our mm-hmm. um Uh, VO2 testing. Ang hirap intindihin na parang okay. kaso, ganito, ganito. Then, May math ba involved yan? Yes. <laughs> oh, eh, hina ko sa math. Uh-huh. 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 So, ang alam ko lang, tumakbo, magbike, magswim. Tapos, uh-huh. pinakita sa akin yung date na, ha, mm. oh, ito daw yung ito-target, okay. ganito. Parang mm. napakompute ako, parang I need calculator for this one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, but, um, uh-huh. it was definitely very helpful because nabago yung ways of my training and then i actually found out that i have been overtraining on my okay. own so mm-hmm. nung nagkaroon ako ng coach mas mas na balance yung 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 program ko yung training load ko mm-hmm. which um, resulted to a better time on my second 70.3 mm-hmm. so yeah. so ano yan na sub 6 mo lang second mo Um, from 612 mm-hmm. if i'm not mistaken parang naibaba ko siya ng 602 oh okay Oo, 602 nice. like mm-hmm. that parang yeah na, uh, mm-hmm. a big chunk of the time was mm-hmm. really ano mm-hmm. all right so is it always like that ba pag um, when you join uh, your next race do you tend to uh, you know 
put up a personal best from the previous? Mm-hmm. Do, you, do, you, do you have that aim internally uh, in the back of your head? Ah, last year, Davao, uh, my first 70.3, I did 6612. Mm-hmm. And then for this time, baka I'm, I'm, I'm aiming for uh, a sub 6 or probably a 602. Uh, yeah. Is it always um, nothing for you? Yeah, way back when I mm. started na, like doing 70.3 mm. long mm. distances and when I'm racing, I guess when you're younger, you tend to be more competitive, mm. not with other people, but mm. with yourself. Mm. So uh, I'm actually pretty guilty about that. Mm. Parang ano siya, every time na mag-race ako, kailangan mabit ko yung time ko before. Mm-hmm. So uh, like what you said, no nagdavaw ako, when I did Cebu, plus I had a coach na, I was already expecting na dapat mas mabilis ako this 70.3. Mm. Mm, yeah. Because diba, I was already putting this much effort, ganyan. Mm. Um, but now, it's a different story. Eh. Mm-hmm. So it's really more on, I'm just aiming that I would be able to finish that specific distance ng much, much more comfortable. I see. So Uh-oh. regardless of what the time would be, <clears throat> of course, I'm expecting that it's going to be a better time. Mm-hmm. But if I don't get like a PR mm-hmm. for 70.3 or a standard distance, then at least man lang hindi ako hirap like I was before. I see. Because of course when you're starting, struggle mm-hmm. makatapos ng 70.3 eh. Yeah. So now mm-hmm. the goal is that for me to be able to finish that one ng medyo maganda pa tayo sa finish line. Mm. <laughs> Oo, hindi tayo hindi uh, wasa. Medyo medyo haggard ng content yes, eh, yes, parang yes. ano no. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ako I I uh, I normally ask this eh, kung for example on a long bike or probably mm-hmm. in training also yeah. or especially in the race no? okay. uh, kanya, looking at 90k bike if you've done for example Subic no, in SETEX mm-hmm. while you're on the ride while you're yeah, in the yeah. bike mm-hmm. even on the run diba? Init, no? yeah. what do you what comes into your mind ano yung iniisip mo iniisip mo ba uh, is it more that the on the data uh Coach Don, we not know your numbers. <laughs> Ay, naku, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 Ano? The, the the training or the, the race no uh, even the, the race, race yes right? so usually ano eh, different kind yung approach ko sa kanya especially okay. when biking mm-hmm. pag nato training ako of course that's when you tend to really focus on hitting your numbers mabait ako coach Don V so I'm trying <laughs> trying to hit our numbers mm-hmm. but during race day and um, this is true in a lot of sense hindi ko na iniisip yung numbers. Mm-hmm. So when I go there, um, on race day, I enjoy myself mm-hmm. doing the race. Mm-hmm. It's all about um, just being at the moment. So pag nagbabike ako, 90 kilometers, mm-hmm. um, it's not something na kailangan i-hit ko ganitong speed or ganito. Mm-hmm. It's more on really appreciating everyone I see on the course. Um, I appreciate and think that I have that opportunity that day to be able to go out there and ride the bike and do mm-hmm. that specific race. Mm-hmm. And then I sing along to this favorite song. I actually have a favorite song okay. up until now. That's mm-hmm. the song I sing mm-hmm. in my head or sometimes out loud. I don't, I don't mind. Mm-hmm. Um, are you familiar with It's a Beautiful Day? Mm, okay. Uh, it's a Beautiful Day. The um, oh. version that I like and I sing is yung, the one from the Kifness and Roshan. Mm-hmm. It's a rem- uh, it's a remix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, okay. that one. So the mo inani yung beat more or not. Yeah, yeah. So for example, okay. kahit tagano katagal the mm-hmm. ride yan, or even mm-hmm. when I train, that's the song playing in my head. Mm-hmm. So the song that goes up um mm-hmm. Lord, I thank you for sunshine, I thank mm. you for rain, I thank mm-hmm. you for joy, I thank you for pain. Mm-hmm. It's a beautiful day. Mm-hmm. It's just like on repeat. Ulit, ulit. Yeah. Ah, cool, huh? that's a, a very good approach, no? Yeah. And uh, I think, kasi, now, kasi parang a lot of people who doing races, parang, mm-hmm. di ba, palaging ganun eh. They, they, they look at, oh, ano yung last ko na race, mm-hmm. I have to do more training, yeah. I have to beat my, my, my best time before, yeah, yeah, di ba? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
So ngayon parang nag-iba, nag-shift yung yung thinking more, especially uh, in, into racing. No? You want yes. to be on that moment, have a grateful heart. Uh, yes. Now you're here. I'm with my family, probably. I would be with my friend. Yes. Oh, anong nagano nang nag? How did it happen? Or yeah, yeah, was it before the switch. change or switch? Yeah. Oh, like yeah. shift na lang ba or? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um again, quick backstory. So uh, mm. kanina. Okay lang. Kita niya ba madale? Yeah, kanina I mentioned, <laughs> de ba? Mm-hmm. I mentioned uh, that was November 2017 when mm. I first. Um, joined my uh, triathlon race in biking. Mm-hmm. So before that, uh, I was in a really bad place in terms of like managing life in general. Mm-hmm. So October, a month before the biking race, mm-hmm. I got into a car accident. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got into a car accident. Total the car. Wow. Total the okay. car. So again, um, going back na. I Coming like from party. a party, yes, okay. Yeah, so, yeah. You but were I driving. wasn't driving, okay. Ah. I wasn't driving, okay. Yeah, so, uh, but it was my car. I was already sleeping in the car. My friend, Backseat. yeah, my okay. friend was driving it. Lahat kami, of course, uh, and then, uh, yeah, so I woke up, uh, nasa, ano na kami? Na. actually, no, it's a police station muna because we bought. Huh? Um, into another car mm-hmm. na ang tindi din ng tama. Because oh. like, sobrang bilis ng tako. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, yon. And then, that was like, uh, a waking moment for mm-hmm. me na, oh, okay. You know, you were given a second chance at life. Mm-hmm. Nothing, nothing uh, bad or like, really worst happened to me. Mm-hmm. Walang bale, walang anything, considering na total yung car. Okay. Uh, that was a month before the race. So, para makapag-race pa ako noon, you can actually imagine na I was fine from the, I mean, hindi ganun katindi yung, yung nangyari sa akin personally. Mm. Yeah. So that changed change your perspective until now? Uh, yeah, until when now. I do remember that um, that uh, scenario back then, uh, I, I always go back na, okay, so Mm-hmm. You were given another opportunity, so now mm-hmm. that you're doing triathlon, it's the same thing. Na you don't really need to always beat your personal record. Just enjoy the moment. Just enjoy the opportunity you're being given. Because mm-hmm. uh, not yeah. everyone has that diba, chance. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then also, one thing, I think, siguro nung pandemic. Ah, uh, okay. Nung, yeah, nung mm-hmm. pandemic, I got injured eh. So Injured. I I tore my meniscus sa right knee. Okay. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Okay. Twenty twenty one. So yun yung kasagsagan na I was racing almost every month. Parang ang race ko sa isang buwan, maybe two or three races. I have a running event and then meron na kong sprint distance, meron na kong duathlon. You name it, lahat sa salihan ko. Parang ganon ako. I got really addicted to triathlon ganong level. Oh. Tapos, mm-hmm. nag-pandemic, and then after that, uh, na-injure ako because I was um, spending a lot of time doing jump rope ah, during the pandemic, okay. during lockdown. During lockdown. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Actually, ako, mm-hmm. bumili ako ng jump rope. Yeah. Sa so, awal ng Diyos, hindi ko pa nagagamit. <laughs> Dapat din na mo. Tinuruan kita mang jump rope ngayon. Yeah, yeah. Oo, yeah. Yeah. So, Marunong naman ako. Pero, okay, okay. Ayun. Yeah. Yung pandemic, di ba? Kasi it was, nagkaroon pa yun ng ano eh, di ba? Parang Guinness na record na they yes, wanted to. Yes, pero yung kanito may parang very fast. Oo. 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 Da, na, na mag jump rope kaya na sabay-sabay. Anyway, yeah. parang naisip ko lang. Mm-hmm. Saka ano, it got really big <coughs> during the lockdown. Kasi everyone True. was staying at home. So <coughs> parang ano yung easiest fitness activity that you can do na won't require so much space. Uh-oh. So it was jump rope, di ba? Yeah. Oh, Hindi pa makapa-run nun eh. Oh. Yeah, yeah, true. True, yeah. Ayan. Okay. Wow. So, eventually, do you feel or think that you, 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 uh, you'll try uh, a different space, no? aside from triathlon? Do, mm-hmm. do you have plans of doing probably uh, trail running mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or Spartan or 
probably ano ba mga long distance running mga ganon no, um, pero mga, mga ano definitely what do you think, oh? definitely not um, ultra running definitely no, definitely oh. not medyo uh, hindi ko ay mo pa rin ng run no uh, no no I actually do love running na na, na right okay. now no I developed oh. that 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 uh, really good relationship with running <laughs> but siguro mm. hindi nothing that would exceed mm. 42 kilometers but I am do thinking like right now I am very mm. interested in trying um, the races that I haven't done before mm. like um, swim junkie mm. Ah, okay. Right, I haven't joined uh, mm-hmm. any swim zonky races before. Like, ito swim lang to, di ba? Open water yeah. swim. Mm-hmm. Spartan, definitely on my bucket list, on my mm-hmm. uh, list. Gusto ko siyang matry. Mm-hmm. Um, Odax. O- oh, yeah. Odax, Endurance maybe. Cycling. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, those things. Dumadami na rin yung, ano ah, yung mga women going into cycling, no? Yeah, Coming yeah, yeah. from the pandemic, parang dumami siya, nagsulputan, eh. Correct, no? correct. Mm-hmm. Which is, I'm very happy to see a lot of new faces yeah. in the sport who are yeah. also excelling. True. And, um, ayun nga, like what you mentioned, ang dami ng women cyclists, mm-hmm. eh, nakakatuwa. Kasi before, parang ano talaga, diba? parang male-dominated din naman, let's admit oh. it, di ba, yung sport. Yeah. But now, a lot of um, really strong women are or doing multi sports or into cycling yeah. into running oh 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 yeah okay so yun yung mga nasa bucket list mo spartan probably yeah. swim junkie swim junkie future yeah. okay and then endurance cycling pwede din no? pwede bike uh, mga backpacking yeah in your ho yeah in your ho yeah yung mga gusto magaya kay cat no yeah yeah in your ho uh oh ducks <laughs> uh, oh ducks no? oh yeah, mainit yeah. din no Mm-hmm. Something that uh, I would love to try. Yeah, sige. At least kahit pa paano may counting variety para yes, yes. To keep up the, ano, diba? the interest. Correct. Yeah. And um, right now, you mentioned about women going to sports. Mm-hmm. Uh, ikaw, you've been here for quite some time. A household name in triathlon. Diba? Pag, uh, may mga iba, I'm sure. Ako nga, pag mga ganong mga ibang tao pagka they see that uh, this person for example di ba yung when you started uh, you look up to different persons yes, and then pagka yes. na nakita mo na uh, they're joining definitely they're gonna join mm-hmm. but, and probably uh, that's also relatable to some other women now that they see you mm-hmm. uh, in, in races di ba so um, I ask this also to, to women that uh, no, nasa, nasa guest din namin yeah. so what would you advise mm-hmm. uh, women now who would want to join or want to do multi-sport mm-hmm. and especially triathlon? Okay. Um, siguro ito, the best message and advice that I can give to those women who want to try multi-sport mm-hmm. is that don't get intimidated. Don't, intimidated. Yeah, yeah, don't true. get intimidated. Mm-hmm. Uh, because apparently that's how I felt towards the sport when I was starting. Parang ang hirap-hirap niyang gawin. Parang ang hirap-hirap niyang simulan. Mm-hmm. But when you're already there and you put one foot forward mm-hmm. and you experience it yourself, then you would realize na lahat pala ng ginagawa ng initial person or athletes that you're following is actually attainable. You can do it too. So for example, if I was able to do a 70.3 or a full Ironman, uh, don't get intimidated because you can do it too. Mm-mm. That Mm-mm. one. Because before, yeah. apparently, when I got intimidated, no one actually told me na parang, uh, hindi siya mahirap. Kailangan mo lang talaga siyang i-practice. Kailangan mo siya to give time and effort. Mm-mm. And that's it. You can do it. You know? and so, yeah, yeah, don't get intimidated. Also, uh, don't believe um those people who say that triathlon is super expensive. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And dami ng ibang ano ngayon, pwedeng salihan. Yes, yes, mm-hmm. yes. So, technically, yes, you have to spend, mm-hmm. but you don't need to break the bank to oh. be able to do triathlon. Mm-hmm. How do you do it pala? Di ba mentioned mo kanina, mm-hmm. you, you'll share your secret. Mm-hmm. Ngayon, hindi na secret. How do you... Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's not a secret anymore. Yung yeah. papana mo siya... You know, Manage, you know, yeah. yeah. When I expenses, mm-hmm. yeah, correct. When I first started, of course, the registrations uh, were the ones who will be providing for that, of course, mm-hmm. diba? Hindi naman mm-hmm. tayo professional athletes. Mm-hmm. Um, but technically, in terms of the 
uh, bike, the shoes, or the gears, mm -hmm. there are a lot of um, good quality items or gears that you can get for definitely a cheaper price. And so, this is not a sponsored um, video or post, mm, yeah, but yeah. everything that I used when I started is from Decathlon. Okay. All Decathlon. Right. Uh -oh. Goggles ko nun, Decathlon. Uh -oh. Swim cap, decathlon, um, everything I need for my bike uh -oh. and my gear. What? Like, parang, I would spend maybe per item, maybe like, but less than a thousand everything. Nothing yeah. fancy. Probably. And I started nothing mm -hmm. fancy. And also, probably can get a second hand bike, diba? Yeah. Na, coming from a friend that you know, na well taken care of. Yeah. Muna, yeah. diba? Yes, yeah, If you're on a budget, diba? Siempre. Yeah. Speaking Look of, before mm. I actually um, changed my bike uh, from a roadie to mm. a time trial bike, yeah. yung mm. first 70.3 ko, uh, pinahiram lang ako ng workmate ko from mm. way back na, na work oh. ko. Uh, yeah, I, I was working smart. So, uh, mm. pinahiram niya ako ng triathlon bike because um, they were telling <coughs> me na if it's long distance, mm. um, well, they said, mas comfortable daw if naka ka, you mm. know. So, yun. Uh, I did not purchase my uh, to like buy a, a new bike yeah to buy a new bike mm -hmm. a time trial bike yeah. I, mm -hmm. I got a time trial bike parang 20 latter part of 2019 already true oh, oh. yeah so you guys can also do that no? so mm -hmm. that para you, you don't have to to put in your savings mm -hmm. but at least meron ka paring matatago yes you can go through cost effective brands yes. or products that you can use yes and probably um, ako the same thing. Uh, ako naman, siyempre, nakaabang ako sa mga sale. Yes, for at, sure. At, at, at for the sure. beginning, no? it was in 2016 that I started. Mm. Road bike muna, yeah. time trial bike, I even bought a second hand frame. Oh. Yes, yeah, which is not, nothing wrong with mm. that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh. So, it's a very good suggestion. Yeah. yeah. Plus yeah. also, diba, mm. para maiwasan, for example, you're just starting out. Mm. Of course, you're testing the waters. Mm, we don't true. know if it's something that you want to do for a long time. Uh -oh. So for example, na nabudol ka lang mm -hmm. na parang to purchase a, a very expensive bike or <coughs> gear. Yeah. So eh pagka try mo ng isang race, ayaw mo na pala. Right? Uh -oh. Or like parang it's not for me. So yeah. at least uh, what happened with me naman, parang yung testing the waters ko umabot ng two years and then I figured out I really love what I'm doing uh, so yeah. might as well you know mm -hmm. um, do some upgrades I mean mm -hmm. I'm saying some because up until now um, it's my sixth year in triathlon I can't really say that the things I'm using are like uh, major upgrades even yeah. like with the bike ganyan I remember nung pwede na kumbaga yeah, yeah. Ma makakagalaw oh. I mean aandara naman yung bike ko mm -mm. <laughs> mag-qualify nga ako sa kuna eh. Di ba? <laughs> oh, pwede no, na doon. Uh, di ba? Yeah. Ganun, no? So, inaandar naman Ganun. tayo. <laughs> Oo. Alright. Oh, teka lang. Uh, Siyempre, ang isang gusto ko rin malaman kay Kat. And okay. uh, I'm sure your your followers no, would want to know. Okay. Uh, Nakabahan ako. Oo. Oh, oh. Siyempre, alam niyo si Kat, hindi lang yung nakikita sa races and not just in uh, sa mga iba-ibang uh, ano ba events you i think you also do hostings no oh uh, yes ba? you also do hostings yes. events aside from races diba yes oh, oh. yeah yeah so that's something mm. that i'm very thankful that mm. i i'm able to do mm. especially um now that i'm not really um putting all my effort into just triathlon uh -huh. see, right now i'm not really racing as much mm -hmm. you know i'm r right now it's more on like parang objective yung pagpili ko ng races so i have more time for other things and mm -hmm. uh that one new hosting ano lang siya, parang blessing in disguise that i was able to also hone that part of myself mm -hmm. and be able to share mm -hmm. it with others also oh cool all yeah. right and Papasok ko na dito eh. Kasi ito si Kat Lagunsad. Pagka may TikTok account kayo, hanapin nyo to. Nakakatuwa yung mga videos nito Kat eh. No? So, ah, pa paano nag-start yun? Kasi ako nga, I don't have TikTok eh. So okay. uh, I just, you know, uh, look at it through, syempre, through my wife. Yung nababanggit niya. Parehas kayo ni Coach Vanessa eh. Yung mga yeah. ganun, matataba ang yeah. utak eh. Oo. Mas mataba yung utak oh. ni, ni Coach Van. Ay, Coach Van. <laughs> so, 
Uh, you've been in that platform matagal na or ano, ano ba yung ano yung paano to nagana nag story nag start, behind yeah. it mm. okay so tiktok mm. um first time ko siya ginamit during the lockdown also right. mm. but uh, back then parang ano siya loving stack siya ng ano ng mga tao because it's more on dance parang pag may tiktok entertainment ka, talaga oh, uh-huh. more on pag may tiktok ka ang baduy uh-huh. kasi like what are you doing because it's not Um, parang hindi pa siya masyadong accepted with the social media users back then, mm-hmm. right? Um, and then, nung nag-open up na ulit, like after the lockdown, uh, tapos medyo nagta-traffic na. And then, pumapasok na ka ulit sa work, di ba? So, face-to-face uh, na yung trabaho. Face-to-face na yung mm-hmm. work. So, every day, I drive. And every day, I experience the mm-hmm. ever-beautiful traffic in the Philippines. So, mm-hmm. of course, naging coping mechanism siya. So, pag traffic, so hindi gumagalaw. I get my phone, di ba, isistand ko dun sa car, and then all the videos that I see that I laugh at, I dub. Uy, tulungan mo ko na wala yung paki ko. Na naman, saan mo na naman nilagay? Ewan ko ba dati ang dami ko nun eh, tapos ngayon tignan mo. Wala na akong paki. So, uh, ano lang siya. Naging coping okay. mechanism. Not Uh-oh. for anything. I don't expect people to laugh at it. Basta mm-hmm. ako, natawa ako. Mm-hmm. Gusto kong gawin siya with my own version. Mm-hmm. Na, you know, kasi, no, no, it's funny. Eh, diba? It's entertaining mm-hmm. for myself. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. apparently, when I started uploading those kinds of videos, yung mga traffic videos ko in the car, um, nagulat ako. Kasi parang biglang dun, nag-hit yung mga like yung mga followers and the Dumami. likes. Sabi ko, so meaning to say these people na appreciate nila the Filipino humor also that I have. <laughs> Akala ko ako lang yung natatawa dun sa mga dun uh, sa pinapanood ko. Uh, But um yeah, so a lot of people can relate to uh, that. Uh, and so until now, yun pa rin siya. It's it's really more on pag traffic, I have time, uh, hindi gumagalaw. I'll do TikTok videos uh, that I think are funny. Yeah. Na upload it. How many followers do you have? Man. Um, TikTok, I think, 300,000. What? So, 300,000. Nice. Yon, yon. Thank you. Thank Uh-oh. you for supporting my kabaliwan in TikTok. <laughs> And you post every week? No, no, no. Ah, okay. And no. every other week or once no a month? Then, no, then. No, then. Especially, um, <clears throat> it's not something na I do regularly mm. because, again, it's just pag traffic. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So, um, yeah, kwento ko lang na. Chigo. Mm-hmm. May mga nagko-comment nga eh mm-hmm. na it, it's really funny for me. May mga mm-hmm. nagko-comment na wala ka bang ano, Miss Miss Kath, wala ka bang bahay? Lagi ka na sa kotse. <laughs> <laughs> Tama naman, may point naman din, oo. But then again, the content that I upload on TikTok are um, result from boredom during traffic. So it's not mm-hmm. naman something na I really do for a living, you know, or I mm-hmm. do all the time because again, I do train naman for triathlon, mm. diba? I have hosting gigs, I mm. have a corporate job. Mm. So ito, parang outlet ko siya in a day to actually yeah. also share my humor. Mm. Yun. Alright. So it's not a regular thing. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah. Tiga, you mentioned, siyempre, your training, we know that. Tapos you have that uh, digital content creator <laughs> that you go get it out on TikTok. Yeah. As a corporate naman, uh, you have your job, no? Mm-hmm. That's weekday until the weekend, uh, y- yung work mo. And I'm sure siguro iba rin yung, ano mo dun, yung approach mo. Yung, the the, the yung persona, persona, iba, oh, iba, iba yung iba persona. Rin. Yeah, oh. um, definitely. Kasi <clears throat> natapansin... Strict, medyo serious na. Ito na yung medyo serious. Oh, ano pa? Nandun pa rin yung kaanoan. I mean, may kulit pa rin. Oh. I feel like I am Kenkoy in general, mm. Mm. but it's more on how I present myself that mm. I think I have three personas. Mm. So there's a, there's the mm. athlete me, mm. there's the corporate me, and there's the home me, which is okay. more laid back. Ah, okay. You know? Of course, at work, medyo, di naman masyadong, hindi, hindi pwede yung TikTok humor, humor ko, intense, right? Intense, medyo. Oh, intense, ano, diba? Oh. That's why I appreciate doing TikTok contents and videos kasi doon ko na ilalabas na, you know what, natatawa ako dito <laughs> sa mga bagay na to. Like, yeah. um, sometimes hindi nagigets ng iba yung humor. But you know, uh-huh. this is my uh-huh. humor. And yeah. then, pag nasa work ako, it's different eh. Parang mm. there's a switch on and switch off. Mm. So, yun. All right. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. So ganun pala 'yon. Talagang galing ah. Na, na, na ano mo 'yan, nakakompartmentalize, no? Um, in a way. Hindi ko sinasa I oh, think yeah, but it yeah. comes naturally yeah. maybe kung nasa mm-hmm. ang environment ako. Mm-hmm. And then uh, I do adapt. All right. And then kanina in terms of schedule, you're asking about the schedule. Yeah. Oo. Yeah. Siyempre ka when you're in training tapos you you have a corporate job like me. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, did man nine probably sometimes mga you're you're ano, asked to to be in the office more than mm-hmm. 5:30 or 6 p.m., mm-hmm. 'di ba? Yeah. So how how does it uh, look like for you? Yung normal mo na week, yeah. especially when you're aiming for normal week and then ano mo, uh, schedule mo, twice a week, every day ba, made mm-hmm. two times a week, a day, may mga yeah, ganun kasi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, um, right now, this mm-hmm. year, this year, mm-hmm. so, like what I mentioned earlier, mas laid back na ako in terms of my triathlon schedule. Mm-hmm. So, it's not something that um, I fully prioritize. I, I'm taking the time to enjoy my training and okay. not to like you know para hindi na siya masyadong um nakaka-pressure. Hmm. So now I still train six days a week. I have one rest day. All right. Yeah, so on top of that, the usual week looks like I train in the morning, usually I start 5 a.m. and then diretso na ako sa work niyan. Yeah, diretso na sa work and so, then I stay at work so work is 9:30 to 7:30. Um and then after 9:30 to 7:30. Yes, 9:30 to 7:30. You get home. I get home around nine. nine. Wow. When I'm lucky, eight thirty. Ayon. And then sometimes when I do have to um, complete another workout in the evening, I train from nine thirty to eleven p.m. and then start again the other day. Yon. So ganon lang siya. It's 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 a vicious cycle. Oh. Yeah. Talaga. More on indoor. You prefer indoor or outdoor? Um, right fast now, talk to her. indoor or outdoor. Kaya nga eh, oh, wait lang, <laughs> ako prepared. No, right now I enjoy indoor more. Okay. Indoor more, mm. kasi mas uh, less yung logistics that you need. Siyempre. Diba yung preparation? No, nakaset up na yung trainers mo. Mm. Tapos bike ka na. Yeah. But I do try. I do try to make sure that I still have those <clears throat> outdoor programs during mm-hmm. the weekend. Yeah. Ayon. Especially for a course like Subic. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Anyway, good luck sa atin. Yes. <laughs> And he's doing full, so good luck <laughs> to you. Yan. Good luck to us. Pag, uh, pagdasal niyo po kami. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah, so, ano to, last na to na question natin. So, syempre, uh, I will ask you, what's next for Kat Lagunsad, no? For mm-hmm. you, Kat. Kasi, uh, yung una kong question was, why did you not get the Kona slot. slot. Oh, baka naman you can describe you know, or probably share with us what were you thinking at that time. Kasi I, I, I mentioned na most of the women na who are into triathlon and yeah. very much into Kona training. Kona is the dream. Diba? Siyempre. Kona is the dream. Oo. Oh, oh, for men and women. Yeah. Diba? Oh, that's the big league. Oo. Diba? Oh, oh, yan yung mecha. Diba? Mm-hmm. Saka, I remember Rafi always talks about there's a different energy. Yes. Diba? So, siyempre, lahat ng mga nanggaling dyan, you can always brag it. And you always, uh, if, if different triathletes will know that you've been there, they'll mm-hmm. have a different level of respect to you. Mm-hmm. Parang ganun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, right? yeah. Diba? yeah. You can so, put it that way. <clears throat> last year, IMPH were fourth. They were diba? very good yeah. time, almost at the podium. Mm-hmm. Uh, what happened? What, what, what's for, ano? Uh, why did you not get the slot? Okay. Where everyone was gunning for it, Jeffrey the Kona dream. Uh, and then my second follow up to that question is that do you still have that itch of mm-hmm. getting that Kona spot, spot. eventually? Mm-hmm. Oh, eventually. I mean you're you're very very young. Diba? Thank you. Thank you. Oh, eh. Like, unlike Favorite me. Favorite ko very, very young. Thank you. <laughs> ano, age group, uh, 18 and uh, 19 yeah, to 24. Yeah, no, 18. Tat- tat- tatlo lang sila doon. Oo, ganun yung age uh, dati. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I actually receive a lot of um, the same questions regarding that. Mm-hmm. Na, you know, Kat, bakit di mo kinuha? You know, that's the dream. Ako, if given an opportunity, I would grab that, di ba? And I super appreciate those people who have been messaging me also regarding that. Uh, but technically, kasi Raul, Kona wasn't the dream. Okay. My dream. Okay. So, no. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. So, Kona was never the goal. Kona was never the dream. When I started triathlon in 2017, it was very clear that what I wanted to achieve with triathlon was to complete a full Ironman. A full Ironman because technically, it's, uh, it's already a feat that not everyone would want to do it. Right? So, when I was able to do that last year, that was June. Uh, okay. Technically, na na attain ko na yung gusto ko sa triathlon. Nagawa ko na yung full. Na yan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then with Kona naman, um, I actually asked for a sign. Sign. A sign. Okay. Yeah. O medyo ano tayo? Uh, naniniwala tayo sa sign. I'm heavy uh, on those kinds of things. Uh, so I made it pretty clear also. Um, so I was praying to God. Sabi ko sa kanya na it's my first full Ironman. Mm-hmm. So now. Uh, I know and understand that there will be Kona qualifying uh, slots. But I don't want to do Kona because ito na, gagawin ko na yung full eh. But the sign will be if I actually place on the podium. So that's just one, two, three. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. Mm-hmm. So sabi ko, if mag-place tayo sa podium on my first try ng full Ironman, then that's a sign, that's a yes from you that doing Kona, kahit na ayoko siyang gawin, will be a good idea. Meaning to say, the, 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 the slot, the Kona qualifying slot is for me. Pag, okay. Pag, like one, two, three ako. Wow. Diba, ang weird ko, no? I am a weird and person. And that was your first full Ironman. That's my year. first full Ironman. Oo. So, sabi ko, ano lang, para meron ako, may, may pang balance lang because I don't want to be subjective na follow other people's um you know, idea na, you know what, nandiyan ka na, do ko na. Kasi mm. usually, di ba, yan yung budol eh, di ba? Mm. Yung, yung pressure from other people na, na-qualify ka, go get it. And True. with my own reasoning, ako yung magti-training for that. Right. Mm-hmm. It's my schedule, mm-hmm. di ba? Um, Kasi ko na will be October, no? Yes, because then, IMPH is June. June. October na, Almost, so that's four ano? months lang. Sabi ko, Uh-oh. gusto ko bang mag-train ulit ng ganon ka tedious mm-hmm. for the next four months? Eh, I don't like. But you had already the fitness eh. Uh, yes, that's Uh-oh. what they were telling me. Uh-oh. But of course, aminin natin, you still need to put in the effort. Uh-oh. Right? Sure. Somehow, somehow. But with me, the mentality that time was I wanted to rest. And I wanted mm-hmm. to enjoy my time with my family. Mm-hmm. I wanted to concentrate mm-hmm. more on work and other things aside from triathlon mm-hmm. lang mm-hmm. and then ayun so and I also gave myself naman an opportunity by asking for that sign so again so I placed fourth so I was very happy with my decision there's no regrets kasi ang dami nagtatanong sa akin uh, up until now na parang grabe di mo kinawa yung Kona di ka ba nagsisisi oh, oh. di ka nag Kona or I'm like sure. di ka ba na FOMO because mm. di ba like uh, I, I have friends who did Kona di ba some, some of them did twice or more mm-hmm. And I can advantage. actually, uh-huh. yeah, I can yeah. actually answer each and every one that I don't have any regrets, because that's something that I did not dream for myself. Mm-hmm. But again, I'm very happy for them. Then sa mga nakona, yung talagang lifelong dream nila yan, yung goal nila yon. Yeah. I'm very supportive mm-hmm. and I'm very uh, mm-hmm. proud of them. Yeah. Sige. Ito <clears throat> naisip ko lang lang. What if you you qualify for Let's say in the month of May, okay. would that be a possibility that you'll get the the slot in October? No, for sorry. example, lang. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, in a oh, different place, ah. For example, you'll get uh, a Kona qualifying slot in a different place, not in the Philippines. Okay. But probably in let's say uh, Vietnam or Malaysia, mm-hmm. mga ganon. Mm-hmm. Tapos October, so you'll have time to also to prepare. Would, would that be from, from where? to like, consider? Like oh. what? When's the timeline? Kanyare. Uh, Kanyari join... nag-full na ako, tapos another. Oh, mag-full ka ng May, you'll you qualify on May. Okay, qualify ng May. Oh, or April, ako. for example. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Tapos you'll have a few months pa after, which is October. Mm-hmm. So, probably about seven months. Yeah. Na ganun. Mm-hmm. So, would would that be uh, would something that, that you would consider? Oh, oh, oh. No. Hindi pa rin. Hindi pa rin. Mm-hmm. So, that's, that's how firm I am mm-hmm. with that. Um, mm-hmm. you know, kasi, like yeah. what I said, yung training and preparation at least for me for me personally mm-hmm. for a full distance ironman 
it will really take a lot from you mm -hmm. you know and that kind of commitment it's not something na, it's not easy to do so i admire i praise and um i give all the credits to um triathletes like raul who have done more than just one full Ironman because it's it's hard. The commitment needed, uh, iba. So saludo ako sa inyong lahat. But uh, you know, for myself, I think. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Mm. So far, Deepa. I'm not closing mm. my door. You know, yeah. I'm not closing the doors for opportunities to do um, mm -hmm. another full Ironman. But as of the moment or in the near future, uh, I would have to say no. Grabe kasi yung oras, no? Yes. Na kailangan mong i... Ano, yes. Eh. Oo, oo. And siguro one thing that uh, that also sets it apart with how I do or how I train. Um, sometimes kasi, di ba, pwede na mag-race ka lang but you're not that prepared for the race. You mm -hmm. know, like parang ah. yan, nag-register mm -hmm. ka and then, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, basta ma-racean mo lang, mm -hmm. right? So, with me kasi, that doesn't happen. When I do race, I don't want it half-baked. So I want to be fully prepared doing oh. it. So that's why when I commit to something, I have to ensure that it's gonna be done um, wonderfully. I mean, yeah. not perfect. I mean, di mo naman kontrolado yung mm. race conditions. Yung mga, uh -oh. But as much as possible that you give everything you can during the preparation. Mm. So yun. So that you're, you're the kind of person, no? all in, talagang 100%. Yes. Kasi ako, pag qualify ng kona, Siguro, pag, pagdating ng corner race, grab. Hindi. Okay. I'll grab it, pero yeah. on the corner race, what I'll do, I'll walk the run. <laughs> kasi parang, parang hindi ne, naman. Parang ano eh, I mean, ne, ako kasi, parang hinisip ko lang na, um, you had so much uh, that you've given in the training, qualifying yes, for it. Yes. Parang I wanted just to suck it in. Yes. Yung, yung, to yung, enjoy that, the oh, moment. Enjoy mo lang. Oh, parang, tinitignan mo lang kada angulo ng daan. Yes. Kapag yung mga sell... tao na kayo pag-high five true, ka lang. True, Alam mo yan, yung yeah, ganun. Yeah. Or probably if you see a dolphin on the swim, parang habulin mo. Correct, correct. <laughs> Pero siyempre, yeah, kailangan yeah. niyo be very ano lang of the cut of time. Yeah. Right, diba? yeah, Pero yeah. I'm sure... Yeah, hindi naman something. yung parang seconds oh. na tapos cut off na. No? Sa sobrang enjoy mo nung moment na, eh, nag-buzz, wala. Okay, ano na pala. <laughs> well, may kilala akong ganyan. Ha? Dahil yun. Ang ganyan. Almost, almost, yeah, almost. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, oh, so, so yun talaga yung ano pala, yung mindset mo. Galing, yes, ha? Galing, yes. galing, galing. But at, uh, grabe, ha? Uh, at the young age, tapos ganun yung thinking, grabe. Iba talaga ito si Katlang yung sad. Even if magkaroon ng hashtag sa TikTok na send Katlang yung sad to Kona. Kona. Uh, one million likes, pwede one kaya yun? Paano yun? <laughs> Napa, hindi isang mago hindi isang mago di ba may may ganun ba sa tiktok <laughs> <laughs> no no but I mean again we're not year, closing no? uh, yeah, the yeah. doors mm. di ba I mean Kona's just there Triathlon's uh -huh. just there um, uh -huh. there's there, there's really more to life that yes. I'm now enjoying mm -hmm. and I'm really happy na you know di ba may ganitong moment with, with triathlete friends like Raul that we get to talk about these mm -hmm. things yeah. di ba so yeah, and we get to put it on YouTube and Spotify. Yeah, yeah, and we get to share it with and everyone. Can, you know, subscribe and like to the page, please. <laughs> yes, please shock the system. Okay, so siempre na chikat, no, always on uh, on social media. Ang galing to follow nyo sa sa IG <laughs> and uh, definitely in their TikTok account. Uh mga last ano mo uh, words mo sa mga fans, anything or anyone, any no, brands like, that you would ano? want to. To say thank you. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. a lot, for, a lot for the supporters that gone through your journey here. Yes, oh. a lot. Um, I want to thank all the brands and sponsors who believed mm. uh, believed in me since day one. Wow. So technically, if not for you, I won't be able to do all these things. Nang very like you no know, comfortable. Um, where I am right now is all thanks to you. So number one, I want to thank Coach Don V. Okay. for believing in me, for introducing me to Sante Barley. Of course, I thank the team uh, for the all-out support you're giving me all throughout since I joined the team, no, no, I joined you. Um, also, Vitargo Philippines. Um, Vitargo. Yes, so see, Mommy Chess, JB, thank you so much because uh, without this kind of nutrition and support from Vitargo, I don't think that I would be able to perform mm -hmm. on that level that I also mm -hmm. want to. So thank you for the... Um, unconditional support since day one. 
Um, also, Hoka Philippines. So, Hoka, thank you so much for um, for the support. PSI. PSI. Um, my Daily Collagen. Okay, so I will never forget thanking My Daily Collagen and Oliver. So, yeah. Um, sorry if I'm missing out on mm. some, mm. but like, I, I thank mm. you for for believing mm. in me since day one. Yeah. Wala bang special sa <laughs> Special shout out to my cat, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. I know, ah, cat, sana, um, we'll get to uh, invite you again here. no? Definitely. Oh. Definitely anytime. Yeah. We're thinking of something at the end of the year. Uh, yeah. so sana we can still invite you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank for, you so much. Um, shock the system oh. for actually yeah. putting this kind of platform. You mm. know? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hopefully, Rafi will be back. No? Yeah, yes. Siyempre, uh, Kuis, congratulations, oh. Alice. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh. Apit na. <laughs> yeah, congrats. All right. All right. So, if you're new to the platform, please like or subscribe and click on that notification bell so that you get to be, uh, you know, at um, you get to know of the new videos that we'll be putting out yes. and hopefully uh, the, the soft and the small gesture you know, will bring guests like Kat Lagunsad Definitely. hopefully Definitely. and thank you to our sponsors uh, Sigtight and also Sonare Tech and Gamers Hub we'll see you in the next episode thank you and bye